Hello. So this week I wanted to talk about why I almost gave up. So I know I've been really into this whole health journey and it's really hard for me to even admit that I almost gave up on it. And it's, it's, it was because of very small reasons. Um, so let's just talk about it. This last week, I weighed myself and it's on a scale I don't like really trust. So every time I got on it, which I got on it like seven different times, I was given a different weight, um, but they were all either the same as I weighed in last week or more. And I was just getting really frustrated and discouraged. So it, essentially it was saying that I was around 217.4 or more. And it was really frustrating to me because when I was doing Weight Watchers last year, I was losing weight on a very consistent basis. I was losing about two pounds a week and I was getting to where I wanted to go at a relatively good pace and I guess just on a week where I ate everything right, I was within my daily point budget every single day, I worked out more than I had ever worked out before, and seeing no change on the scale was really discouraging for me. And it's because I am a results-oriented type of person. I like positive reinforcement. I like knowing that I'm accomplishing my goals. It keeps me motivated and it keeps me going. But it's not a realistic mentality because you're not always going to reach your goals in the time frame that you set for yourself and you're not always going to have outside sources that are giving you positive reinforcement. You're just there are just some things that you need to be a self-motivator on and the health journey that I am on is one of those things. Now, I want to talk about my state of mind when all this happened and how low I actually got. Um, so I weighed myself in the morning and I didn't see any change on the scale and on that day I had to do a workout and I was feeling really discouraged and I was just not in a good mood at all. So I actually reached out to my sister, the one that was, that's been helping me on this journey and I told her that I haven't lost any weight and I was actually desperate to find an excuse. So I asked her if it's because I was working out too much too soon. Um, and this, you know, logically, logically came from my head because before when I was doing Weight Watchers, I was losing weight without working out at all. I mean, I was more active, but I wasn't actively working out. So I was looking for anything to blame because my nutrition has been on par with what it was previously. And... You know, my sister ended up calling me when she had a moment and we talked and she was telling me that, look, it's not because I'm working out. Sometimes you just don't see the result on the scale. We're going to have to wait until next week to see if there's still no results. And if there aren't, then that means maybe we need to change some things up. But um, it's not because of, you know, how I've been working out. And having someone to talk to was definitely really helpful. Having somebody who, you know, encouraged me to keep going on this journey was really helpful. Um, but also you guys were really helpful. I Knowing that there are people out there who care and who are watching this and who believe in me is very helpful. Um, so I want to say thank you guys for that too because, you know, I started doing this whole thing for accountability and it's definitely come into play you know a couple times so thank you um and i just want to tell everyone that sometimes you're not going to see the results that you want to see or sometimes you're not going to see them in places that you want to see them i remember that i was in the connect 
portion of Weight Watchers one day and there was this girl who posted a picture of herself and you know an explanation of the picture and she was saying that she hasn't lost or hadn't lost weight you know in a couple weeks um, she wasn't gaining weight but she hadn't lost anything and she was really becoming discouraged until she went into a store and she tried on a smaller size pair of pants than she's you know previously been wearing and you know they fit her and she was surprised that they did because you know she hasn't been losing weight but she's been losing inches and there's there's a few reasons why you could be not losing weight you know you could be gaining muscle in place of the the you know weight the fat um and that was probably the case for her and you know, it might be the case for me too and I remember I posted on that status or I commented on it and I told her I was like that's why it's important to keep track of different types of measurements not just pounds but also you know how much how many inches your waist is and your hips and your arms and your legs and just everything there or even power assessments because you know, that's why I did that whole assessment with my sister to see how I can increase my push-ups and sit-ups and step-ups and wall sit and all of the things that we did in there. It, it, there are multiple ways to track your progress and this is so you don't become discouraged because where you're not seeing the results in one category, you can be seeing them in another. So, um, my sister also said that we're going to take measurements and see if anything's changed. And, you know, hopefully something has changed. I would be glad if something did. I, I feel better. I feel healthier. I'm more energetic. And, you know, some of my clothes are fitting me better already. So, I think I'm in a good spot. And I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not giving up on this journey. Because, you know, it's about, it's about more than weight loss. And I think I lost sight of that for a minute maybe a little longer than a minute. But it's about more than weight loss. It's about how I feel about myself. It's about growing and becoming the person that I want to be. It's about my mental health. It's about how I feel um, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it's about so much more than, you know, the number on the scale. So I am not giving up and I hope any of you that are joining me on this journey don't give up as well. Um, even when you're not seeing the results that you want to be seeing. That's, you know, that's all I had for this week. And I hope that it encouraged someone that might have been doubting their journey to continue. And, um, you know, let's let's get this. Let's tackle this goal together. And I, I'm not going anywhere. So I'll see you all next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.